we're gonna get into the death row thing for sure. I just want to know, like, like, how did you even link with them guys? I, I mean, far as how did you, how did you come to know the the whether it was Jimmy Iovine or whether it was Suge or what, however that thing had transpired? Just give us a rundown. Music business all came straight from Suge Knight. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Special guest here, man. We came all the way out here. This is my reason for being in Los Angeles, man. This guy right here, man, I've been watching him on the internet, man, but I always watched the movement, man, of, of what was going on around him for so many years, man. Uh, my guy, Mr. Reggie Wright, is in the building. Much respect to the boss talk and his lovely wife, Ms. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I appreciate y'all coming out and, and uh, coming to see me, coming to my home and you know, giving this great interview to me to help me get my uh, awareness and my love to the South. Man, thank you, man. Thank you for <laughs> even having love for the South, man. We yes, love sir. you back, bro. <laughs> Gonna get into the death row thing for sure. I just want to know, like, like, how did you even link with them guys? I, I mean, far as how did you, how did you come to know the the whether it was Jimmy Iovine or whether it was Suge or what, however that thing had transpired? Just give us a rundown. Music business all came straight from Suge Knight. Okay, just from growing up, being in the sandbox. Uh, Playing football, uh, baseball, going to school, uh, going to his mama house uh, for whatever. My mama and his mama sold. I think it was Avon or Tupper. Wow. Uh, Tup. What was Tup it? Tupperware. Tupperware together. So and you've known him since you were second, third grade. Oh, okay. Eighth, third grade. I'm in second grade. Okay. Oh, so, dog. That so, tells and he wasn't, everything. He wasn't that. I don't want to introduce him to his wife. Oh, Sharitha. Yeah. I didn't introduce them. Uh, my sister and Sharita came to a house party together with a girl that I was dating at the time, her cousin, Anita. And and they came to the party together where me and Sugar was at. And that's where they connected. Wow. At the age of 14. So I didn't know me that. and Sugar go way back. And as a young kid, he was always like the tallest and the biggest guy around. Tallest and the biggest and the talkative and the bully and so he and was very intimidating he was from that no, young no, age stop right there because I heard he no, wasn't I'm hearing that too that's what I'm saying people say a lot of things now yeah, that, that they don't want to make him that gay thing they, they want to make guys y'all talking to one gay members are the toughest things around no gay members ain't the toughest niggas around niggas that was studying their books there's some dudes that that you know built like that as well it's all in the heart and where you brought up in and, and your family and being treated and all of that stuff. But the guys that unfortunately that's on social media and talking and all of that, they want to build up and make the, and I'm not shitting on gay members because some of those dudes I love more than, I love real family members. Yeah. But, they're so, they always, police are busters and the softest dudes around. So you got the softest dudes around chasing the toughest dudes around. No, you gotta have tough dudes chasing tough dudes. You got busters with busters. It's like within gangs, you got busters. Within law enforcement, you got busters. In gangs, you got tough dudes. In law enforcement, you got tough dudes. And on the basketball court, you got you talk some athletes. That nigga, you talk to Matt Bournes and uh, and, and players like that. They tell you, oh, that nigga was weak. <laughs> that yeah, nigga was yeah. all. You know who what you're dealing with and what you got. You got all type of different personalities. Within, within everything, in my opinion. Wow. That's, that's Reggie's philosophy on it. So, okay, so was he a smart kid growing up? So, I mean, everybody was, he wasn't no A student. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> was he that he A student? He wasn't no A student, but, you know, he went to class. You know, I heard that UNLV, Sharita had to take some of his classes for him. Oh, and, okay. And stuff like that. But, you know, that's just niggas being lazy mm -hmm. and putting it off on your woman. But... No, I mean, sure. I mean, none of us was straight A students. I was right. okay. I did okay, to be honest. Um, but it wasn't like we all straight. But we you had street sense. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.